Hey guys, I just wanted to do a demonstration of the Firelight MS9050UD addressable fire alarm control panel. The way I have this installed, it has a power suppressor right here installed along with it. And I have a pre stripped power cable that connects to the, uh, goes into the conduit knockout. Here is where it comes in, and here is where the ground, hot, and neutral wires come in. Uh, these wires are going into the transformer back there, and they cap they cap off with the transformer wires and the hot and neutral wires for the uh, power suppressor I had over here. Same thing with the ground wires. Um, okay, sorry, I thought I heard something come loose. No, oh, it didn't come loose. I have two batteries here connected to it. So where the batteries come in. And like I just said, in case you didn't really pick up what I was saying, behind this board there's a transformer and that's where the power cables connect to it. There are three wire two or three wires. I forget if there's a ground wire or not, but there's there are at least two wires hanging out of the transformer that used to cap with the power wires that come in. There's no terminals like the MS2 had has. Um, here's your keypad. You can uh, have a you can have these first two lines with your own custom text. And this is something the system does. These bottom two line, these bottom two lines. Excuse me. Here are your um, phone jacks for the dialer. Uh, this is a keyboard connector. It's like an old style keyboard connector. It's not USB. I have a keyboard I use with that. But these can do letters too. Um, it's been so long since I looked at this wiring. Right here, these are the two NACs, NAC 1 and 2. This, this is the SLC in and then return. It's the out and then return. And then these are the relays. This is, and then this is the enunciator, uh, the enunciator cables. <clears throat> so with the buttons, it's, we have an acknowledge slash Step, whatever that means. We have an alarm silence button. We have a drill button. You have to hold that button for two seconds for it to work. We have a reset button. We have arrow buttons and then enter button. So to go into programming mode, we hit enter. You can go to programming mode by hitting two. You can read the status of the machine, like the time and stuff like that. And then you have some things here which I never use, which that would be for the dialer, the communicator. Number three, and number four is for probably for upgrading firmware, which I never do. I don't plan on doing it. If you're not careful with your firmware, you could end up damaging the unit, where it has to be sent back to the company. So if we hit two to go in programming mode, it's going to ask us to enter our passcode. It says password, but it's passcode which I created. It will activate a trouble light. Using the arrows, you can go in here and just choose what you want to do. Okay, I'm going to hit escape to go back to the main menu. You can do read status mode, which you don't want to have a password for, passcode technically. Um, you can just, you can read these things right here. And once I hit escape, it's going to reset and you'll get to see that reset. Actually, first before I reset it, I think I'm going to try the showing the drill button by holding down the drill button. Hopefully, it'll show the indicator. Nope. I guess you have to reset it. Okay. Oh, you have to do it one more time. Here, let me try it this way. Nope. It said the version, it says reset and system. For wanting to see me do the evac, the manual evac, the drill button, just watch another system test video I have. I do that every now and then. It's initializing. So that's basically it. You, ha you have um, your diagrams here for hooking it up some different codes you have how to operate this and some warnings on here so it's a pretty th it's a pretty thick box too 
so it's back to normal now so i just thought i should show you this and it has some air vents and i used to keep documentation up here along with this thing that got was you know came with it so thanks for watching if you have any questions you can post them in the comments below